Hello friends, welcome back once again in the video lecture series of Visual Basic. Till now, I have explained so many things in Visual Basic such as what do you mean by control, how control is used in different platform of Visual Basic in design mode, how these controls are called as objects in command mode. So, and after that, we have also having a very good discussions on uh, coding, starting from very beginning, and uh, we have also seen some advanced coding, right? So today, I am going to teach you about formatting function, right? So there are four types of formatting functions which are displayed on this board. But before explaining you about these classification of formatting function. Let me tell you about basically what you mean by formatting function. See, very precisely, if I want to explain you about formatting function, then what does it mean? Suppose a user wants to input some value. So, if he wants to input some value, suppose 1, 1, triple 0, right? Okay. This value may be in, in anything like in rupees, in US dollar, in kilometer, in kg. That is not a point of discussion. The point of discussion here is how this value will be well displayed when it is being used as a report. Can you know what? If a user has added this value to our data, and this value to our data as a report, if we have to take it, then how much better way we can take it? डिस्प्ले कर सकते हैं से फॉर एग्जांपल हम एक तरीका यह है कि हम इसको लिखते हैं आर एस अगर ये रुपीज है आर एस डबल वन ट्रिपल जीरो राइट और दूसरा एक और तरीका यह होता है कि आर एस डबल वन कॉमा ट्रिपल जीरो राइट ओके सपोज द यूजर हैज डिस्प्ले दिस वन एंड इट इज ऑलरेडी डिस्प्ले इट इज ऑलरेडी डिस्प्ले ओके सो आपने यहां क्या देखा कि यूजर ने क्या डाला 11000 डाला बट जब हम इसका जब रिपोर्टिंग कर रहे हैं तो रिपोर्टिंग मींस क्या है हम यहां इसका आउटपुट ले रहे हैं आउटपुट को कैसे लेंगे दैट आई विल डेफिनेटली एक्सप्लेन यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस एग्जांपल सो व्हेन वी आर एक्सप्लेनिंग और व्हेन वी आर गिविंग द आउटपुट so it should be like this or uh, suppose if you want to write a number like 1, 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 so in my opinion this should be this number should be displayed if it is displayed in this way that is 1, 2, <coughs> 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and this so here we can easily means uh, utter we can easily tell this is your 12 lakhs 2416. So why formatting function is used? Why this type of formatting function is used? It is used to uh, uh, it is used to display as a report to the user in a very better way, right? So this was for this reason only we are using formatting function. So there are four types of formatting function. First is known as your tab. Second one is known as your space. Third one is known as your start style argument. And fourth one is known as your user defined formatting function. So instead of going this in detail, let me tell you one thing, one more important thing that if you want to write some text, so you have to have some controls. Suppose you want to write some text. So for that, either you should have what? Either you should have text box, right? Either you should have text box, text box, okay? Or you can have list box, list box, list box. Or you can have what you can have. This is the text box. Or you can have command, if you want to write something on command, you can write something on command, right? Fine. So, <coughs> now if anybody will ask you, whether it is, is it possible to write 
any statement or any message on on the form so if you want to write something on the form then what is going to happen is it possible or not yes it is possible it is possible to the function that is known as your print function that is known as your print function this print function is the function which does not need any sort of control to be written so uh, if you want to write something on form without taking any controls control means without taking any text box or message box or list box or combo box right so so for that reason if you want to write it on form then simply you can write print and you can write what in double quotes you can write anything and it will, it will be displayed on the form so suppose if i want to write a uh, print so suppose if i want to write print say hi print hi yeah print hello right so if i will write in for somewhere so for this i don't have to have any sort of uh, means uh, control box and what i want i want only one private sub routine that is private private sub and i will take kaha bhi usko likhna hai form pe likhna hai so i will just write right form underscore activate activate i will just write form dot act uh, form underscore activate right and in this simply i will write print print hello print hello and uh, what is going to happen that <coughs> this will be again written as what we will write end sub this will be your end sub so how the output will be generated the output will be generated like this how it will be generated it will be generated like hello right hello so for writing this hello we have not taken any any type of control box right so this print command is basically used in this type of formatting function where we are using tab function space function argument function and user defined formatting function right so uh, uh, before discussing all these things first of all we will discuss about tab function right and what is mean by tab function uh, and how it is uh, it is being used right and after that we will try to learn about space function how it is used and what is the basic difference between tab function and space function and after that we will use different type of arguments such as um, the style arguments style argument are basically of for five types that is your general number how a number is represented just jo maine abhi jo maine aapko example dekh ke bataya tha usi tarike se hum use karenge how the fixed point is used how the standard uh, uh, argument is used how this currency used is used and how this percentage is used okay fine so let us start with the first one tab so tab function is defined as t uh, it is defined as capital t a b and n or you can say m right and same coding what is it mean it means that you are taking the space from left hand side of the board what is the left hand side of this board the left hand side is the board this one right so suppose if this is your form and if you want to write say tab 10 tab 10 that means what is going to be happen tab 10 is nothing but <coughs> Uh, it will start from here and it will count the ten space one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And after that, whatever you will write, suppose I have written I like, I like, right? So from ten spaces, it will be written as I like, okay? Right? So the space will be taken from left hand side to. Left hand side of the this corner, left uh, left corner, right? That is the main uh, significance of tab. Now, 
Suppose if you want to write something like Suppose you want to write in this way Hi uh, Hi How How are you? Right? And then how hi how are you? Right? So here what I have written here I have I have written three lines. First line is hi, second line is how and third line is are you. So the question is how to differentiate these things, right? And please remember like suppose from this from this, let it be this is of your seven space. Let it be this is your for uh, how. This is for your uh, uh, let's say 15 space from tab. And let's say are you here? Are you here? Like, like this is your are you? And suppose this is your uh, near about five space. So how it will be written? How the coding can be done, right? So <clears throat> for this coding, you can take some. Uh, subroutine and for subroutine you can take anything but the first thing what I want to tell you that okay, how this will be displayed so I will just take tab that is first of all I will take print pause pause ok then <coughs> print and first of all hi is written after 7 Space. So what I will take, I will take just tab 7, tab 7, okay, so after tab 7, I will just put semicolon and semicolon ke baad mehi character hi, right, so I will just put hi and this will be enclosed in double quotes, after that semicolon, right, okay, itna hone ke baad, now, what has to be done? I have to take the new line. So in C, I am using slash n. But here, what I will take? I will take one print command. Print command tells that we are going to take the new line. And after print command, it is up to you that if the second print command, you want to start from here, then, will, then also you can start. If you want to start from here, it will be also as the same. So, in my opinion, <coughs> this will be your print, print, and say how much space is there. So 15 spaces from here. That is why I have to take the space command, right? Oh, sorry, uh, tab command. So print <coughs> tab 15. Okay. Now next, uske baad, I will just put how. I will just put how and semicolon. Please uh, make sure in here that you have to take the semicolons, right? Okay, fine. After that, again I have to go for the new line. So again for new line, I will take one print, one print command for the new line, and second print for your R U. So I will just put one more print, print, and how many space is there? Earlier it has to be having five space. So tab five, tab. Fine. Right? Then I can after that <coughs> I will just simple write R U. So in this way I can write the code for this output, right? And if you want to just uh, <coughs> enclose this coding in which object. So uh, I will suggest you you can simply you can take private private sub Private sub. Next one will, will be your form underscore active weight. Form underscore active weight. So this will be your what? This will be your uh, coding and uh, after coding you can easily write end sub. That is you can write end end sub. So in this way Pay, uh, tab command is used. So what we have learned, tab command is used from left to right, right? From left to right, means from here. Next, this is about 
space. So shall I remove it? Okay. <coughs> space command is used as follows, and uh, then you will understand okay, what is the basic difference between space command and tab command. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay. So the space command is nothing but it is the difference between two strings. It is the difference between space between two strings. Suppose, let's say example, I have written here hi. I have written here hi. And uh, for space also we are having space and space m. That means in two strings we are having two space, right? So this will be written as hi, right? Okay, and uh, from here, shall I write high? And from high, you will have space, say 15. So, space 15 or what? Hello, how are you? How are you? Hi, how are you? Right? Okay, so here, what is going to happen? Here, the space the 15 is taken in between high and how are you? In tab, the space was taken from left to side of the board, right? Left side of the form. But here, what is going to happen? Uh, space is being taken in between high and how are you? So this is the basic difference between uh, tab command and space command. I think this is uh, very much clear to you, right? Okay. Now next, discuss about <coughs> general number. Fixed number, standard number, currency number, currency and percentage, right? Percent. And all these things falls under which which that is style argument. What style you are using, right? That is the style is very important here. Okay, fine. Okay, see. Okay, so uh, now let's start about style argument. Style the argument for this what if a number is given to you, how will you format that number, right? So uh, there may be uh, total five types of formatting uh, types, and these formatting types are depending upon their arguments, right? So uh, basically these styles are depending upon your arguments. So how many arguments are there? There are five arguments, and on this basis of these five arguments. You can easily write five types of numbers. So, what is the general meaning of writing anything? So, uh, I can say like that: style, uh, style is equals to format, format the number itself, comma, and uh, what argument you want to take. What argument you want to take. So, in this way. The thing is going on, right? So, say for example, if you want to take the first uh, first one, so for that you have to write style. You will get as an output, so you don't have to mention about style. So first will be written as okay format format n comma that is general number. It will be a general general number. Okay. Now how it uh, behaves? Yeah. ये किस तरीके से हमें मिलता है? Say for example, n is any value, right? <coughs> okay. Say for example, if I'm writing uh, n is equal to two one seven point three seven, right? And I'm applying which argument? If I'm applying this argument, that is, if I'm applying general argument, general argument, right? General number, sorry, not general argument, general number. So what I will ha having as the output the number itself, right? So I will use format, format, and for format, what I will have format two one seven point three seven comma general number. So uh, what I will get, I will get simply the number itself two one seven point three seven. There will be no change at all, right? There will be no change at all. The number to be able to change is the same number you you will get as an output, right? So this is the first type of general number key. The number will not be changed. Second one is known as your fixed, right? 
So let's say how it uh, will be written. If I will write in term uh, instead of general number, if I will write fixed. So let's say if I will write fixed. So fixed means that means it depends upon the you. <coughs> that is after point up to what extent you have uh, taking the number. So for example, fixed means the point you have done two decimal digit that we have taken. So if I will write the same thing, so how the fix will behave? Fix will behave as 217.37, the same thing, right? If it will be your second example, if it will be your 317.3, so the answer of this question will be what is the value of 217.3? And if I am if I'm taking the fix for it, then it will be nothing but 217.30. So, see, whenever we are taking the report so if we are taking the report then how it behaves how we are using the numbers right third third is known as your standard now see how the standard will be taken standard is nothing but say suppose example uh, for standard how it will be written it will be written as double quotes standard right Standard. Okay, fine. Okay. So how it will be uh, uh, written? Standard argument generally what it does, it does the round of it rounds of the number, right? Like for example, suppose suppose I'm having 217.333. So what will be its number? Its output will be your 2.7, uh, sorry, 217.33, right? Suppose if you are having 217.33. Three six zero five. So it will be your uh, two one seven. The output or to this number will be two one seven point three six or it is right. If it is two one seven three six five. So if it if it is, if it lies between the last uh, number, if it lies between zero to four, then it's no no matter at all. But if it lies between five to nine. Then what is going to happen? That is, this number will be round up, and the resultant of this number will be zero two one seven two one seven point three six. So <coughs> three six, okay, not three six. It will be your instead of three six, it will be your three seven. So what is the basic difference between standard and fixed? Is what the only the thing in in fixed will be I will take only up to two digits. Say for example, suppose if I have taken in fixed. Fixed may suppose if I have uh, if I have taken in fixed I am telling you if I have taken two one seven point three nine 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 so how much it should be there it should be uh, this should be three uh, sorry two one seven two one seven point it should be four zero but instead of four zero in fixed what it will be uh, written what it will be written it will be written as three nine correct this is the Resultant of its well, that is what I am ignoring all these numbers without rounding off. I am ignoring the number without rounding off. But in standard, we will take up to two decimal, but by taking the round off. That means in round off, it will be behave like this 217.40. Okay, so in this way, we can use the standard function. Now, next one is your currency and percent, right? So how currency is used? Let's see how currency is used. So instead of currency, uh, instead of standard, uh, one more argument you will take. That argument will be taken as currency, right? So currency it depends upon us ki which currency we are using. We are either we are using Indian currency or we are using US uh, dollar or peso. Whatsoever be. Is taken to you, right? So in this, we will just take what currency, right? Currency, and currency is basically here. If you will take currency as dollar, right? So what is going to be happen? The if the, if you are taking the currency as dollar, so this will be your dollar two one seven point three. If it is three three, then it will be dollar. Two one seven point three three, right? If it is three uh, three nine, suppose it, if it is here three four 
four, then then also dollar. If you round it off, to one to one seven point three four. Right? So the dollar, the the dollar signifies the which currency you are using, right? Uh, that means which currency you are using that depends upon the dollar. Okay. <coughs> Now next, if you want to express the percent in this. So how the percentage will be included? The percentage will be included in this way. Yes, sir. So percentage, how percentage, percentage is that is format, format, and will be there comma percent, percent, and will be there comma percent. So how percent will be used? Okay. So Percentage will be used as C. For example, if the format is given format, number is given like this: zero point two seven three six. Like this, right? Zero point two seven three six, comma. And if it is here given here, percent, percent. So what is going to happen here? So it will be your. This will be multiplied by your hundred, right? This will be multiplied by your hundred. Then zero point two seven two six two seven two six into hundred is equals to twenty seven point three six percent. So you will have twenty seven point three six percent. So more example you can get even. Instead of this, if you are having five point two five eight, right? Instead of this, if you are having five point two five eight, so what you will get? You will get as an answer then five point two five eight into hundred. How much it will be? It will be five hundred twenty five point eight zero. Right? It will behave as 525.80 percent, right? So in this way, uh, I have tried to explain you about style argument, and after that we we will discuss about user defined formatting function. Okay. So <coughs> next one is your user defined. <coughs> okay, user defined. User defined formatting function for matting function. So for that, uh, just we will take the example, and I will take. Uh, I will just explain by taking example. So how it works? Okay, format, format, and number. And here you will be having something. Say for example, you may have double quotes zero. You may have n zero point zero. Right, or if you may have format zero point zero zero as a format, right? Or you may have n comma dash dash the uh, it may be your this double quotes. Right, and it will be zero point zero zero like this. Okay, zero point zero zero, or it may be uh, very suitably it will be like this, zero zero point zero zero. Okay, so let's see how it will be behave and how it will be behave. Uh, it means it is all all these things will be treated as your different different format. Right? Okay. So. Let's take format, format, right? Let's take format, format, right? Let's take format, format. Okay, so let's take the first one. Suppose n is equal to seven point seven point eight six, or okay, uh, let's say two six. So 
it will be this number should be represented only as zero. So how it how the zero will be calculated only it will be calculated then this number I will take. But remember you have to take the status of this one also. If it is more than five then it will be number of otherwise it will be as it is. So in this case I will be having seven twenty seven. Okay. Next one <coughs> if it is having seven twenty seven point five six. So I know that. Five is greater than the four. That is, uh, it comes in the, in the second uh, list. That is five to nine. So it will be nothing but seven point seven twenty eight, right? Because due to this five, I will take. I will just round off twenty seven as twenty eight. Okay, fine. If uh, so, what will happen if I will take seven twenty seven point four nine? So see, in in this case, nine will be rounded as five. So it will be instead of five and uh, four, it will be written as five. And if you take the this one finally, the answer will be your what is seven twenty eight. That in the in the both case you will be having seven twenty eight. That means uh, after four five, right? After four five, the number will be wrong, right? After four five to nine nine. I am just uh, repeating for this example. I am just giving the uh, that in the seven twenty seven. 727.45 से लेकर के इफ यू टेक्स 727.99 सो द आंसर विल बी व्हाट 728 फॉर द फर्स्ट वन राइट ओके नाउ जस्ट सी द सेम क्वेश्चन इज बीइंग टेकन इफ आई हैव टू पॉइंट आउट दैट इज 0 पॉइंट सो देन सी व्हाट व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन राइट सो इन द फर्स्ट केस इट विल बी सी फॉर द सेकंड वन If one twenty seven point two six is there, so it will be seven seven twenty seven point three, right? Seven twenty seven point three. Correct? Why this three? Because this six will be cancelled out, and it will be rounded up. And if it will be rounded up, it will become uh, three instead of two. So finally, you will get the answer as this one. Now next one, seven twenty seven point five six. So so easily you can say that this will be your seven twenty seven point. Six. Okay. So instead of five, then okay. Suppose if it is ah uh, three two, right? If it is three two, seven twenty seven point three two. So what is the uh, result? It will be your this two cannot be round up. So the final result will be seven twenty seven point three. So in formatting, if you if you have to take the uh, the numbers as a as a whole, so you have to every time you have to consider the round up. Right. Every time you have to consider the round. Say, okay, fine. Uh, this is the third uh, third example. <coughs> Now just take the third example, right? Okay. For third example, uh, that is zero point zero zero. Now I will just increasing the decimals. For example, I am just taking seven seven twenty seven. Okay. Seven twenty seven point two three six nine. Right. Two two three six nine. So I have to take double. This uh, means how many are there? Then I just simply remember I have to take the two two digit numbers, right? So how it will be written? Uh, when input is there, so output will be your seven twenty seven point two four. Instead of six, it will be uh, it will be four. So it will be your uh, two point. 727.24. Next, if it is being written as which one? 727. Uh, say nine. Uh, okay, not nine. Nine zero two four, right? Nine zero two four. So instead of this will be written as how much? Two cannot be round off, so it will be your 727.90, right? Okay. Okay. Just take one more example. That is, if it will be. Uh, Uh, instead of five, so suppose it will be seven point seven point nine zero two nine. Okay, two nine. So in this case also, what is going to be happens? Nine will be considered as it will be round up. Three will be uh, two will be round up because because here it is nine, so it will be three. But what is going to be as three cannot round up zero. So ultimately, what we will get the answer that is just seven twenty seven point nine zero two nine. Right. So I do hope that it is very much clear to you. Next is your what? Next is your this one. That is very important. This 
this thing. That wherever we are, we are going to count something. So at that time we are using such and things. How it is happening? So just see how it is happening. So let's just suppose example we are taking seven ninety seven three seven. And if you are using this thing, so what? How it will be? Like this. Okay. Again, if it is 1, 0, 3, 7, 8, 9, like this, so it will be like this and it will be like this. So, depend upon this, where you are putting this, uh, uh, where is it called, right? Uh, to the best of my knowledge, it is uh, it will be very uh, good uh, because uh, if you are uh, going to the Indian uh, the counting, so we are, uh, we are counting in lakhs. Uh, we are counting in thousand lakhs and crores instead of uh, instead of uh, uh, million billion and trillion. Suppose if you are going for the uh, US counting like million billion and trillion, then you should follow this type of format dollar dollar sorry hash and uh, this will be like three three dash will be there right. Well, if this is for US. Term, right? Again, if you if you, uh, you have to take three more, so three more means uh, the grouping will be of three three digits. But ideally, uh, using for Indian, so the Indian currency means what? You suppose if Indian currency, I'm just taking an example. So suppose if you uh, if you have to represent say nine eight six four five seven eight two six like this. If this number is there, well, in the Indian way, it should be like this. So, very easily we can uh, assume as it as how that is this is 98 lakhs, no, 98 crores, 64 lakhs, 57,826. So, uh, in my opinion, if you are uh, learning uh, uh, the student of uh, India, so for that I, I will uh, suggest you to go for first three, last three will be can we have your group of three, three dollars? But uh, all those dollars other than this, you can take it as. $2, right? Uh, one more thing. Uh, suppose you want to go for percentage. So, percentage means what? Suppose you go, want to go for uh, percent that is 0 0.576 and you, if you want to go for this double. So, simply it will be how much? It will be your 57.6. So, 57.6 is equal to 58. 58%. Are you going to go ahead? <coughs> If you have to take the percent of this and uh, this is only of one digit, then what is going to happen? Uh, just multiply this number with 100. So, what will be the answer? Your answer will be 57.6 uh, into 100. That is equal to 57.6. Okay, so 57.6 can be a very little as 58% Why? Because here I am using this one. Uh, agar yehi chi lena hai, suppose uh, 0, 5, 7, 6. Okay, 0, 5, 7, 6. Uh, and percentage has to be written in this one. 0, 0. Then how much it will be there? It will be a 7, 57.6. So you have to take 57.6 percentage. Right? Okay. Next example, one more example we can take other than this. Suppose I have to take, okay, suppose I have to take 0 0.859624, okay, not 9624876, like this. And suppose 0 0.859676, suppose this number has to be displayed in 0, 0.00 percentage, right? So how it will be done? It will be done as 85.9676. So uh, 976 that is this 7 will be round off, so this will be considered out and this will be become 7. So 85.97 will be your final percentage. So uh, through this lecture, I have uh, uh, covered almost all the elementary concepts. I do really hope that this will be clear to you. Uh, uh, and uh, thank you for enjoying this video. Thank you.